Tassili Niger, otherwise known as the Plateau of Rivers, is home to some of the most ethereal desert landscapes on Earth. Giant dunes like the one at Tinmazurga appear to be unique rock formations of compressed sandstone. It's as remote as one can experience in the Sahara, but not so remote as to be uninhabited. Early men once lived here, hunter-gatherers, living on wild cats, ancient buffaloes, gazelles, lions, hippopotamuses, even fish. For this was once a lush, forested and lake-filled landscape of flora and fauna just 12,000 years ago. The spectacular cave paintings, etchings and rock art are a testament to the civilizations that lived here. There are over 15,000 cave paintings on the rocks of the Tassili Niger, but far more exist, most eroded by time and the weather. These paintings from Sefar and Tadrat Rouge especially tell us a lot about ancient African societies and the gods that they worshipped. Less remote is Taman Reset, located a six-hour drive away by car. Taman Reset is the most southerly oasis in the Algerian Sahara. In the middle of this oasis stands a sprawling town, which the locals like to call Tam. Tam started life as an old foreign legion garrison called Fort La Perrine but it has since become something of a frontier town, a place where people come to work rather than to live, as the pay is higher in the desert than in the townships of southern Algiers. Jewelry making, metallurgy and leather crafts produced and sold here at the Artisan Centre are the skill sets of the indigenous people, the Tuareg Berbers. The Tuareg in Arabic means abandoned by God, but they prefer to call themselves Imohag, the free people. The Tuareg, very much like the Abadi, practice their own brand of Islam, called Maliki. It derives from the teaching of a visiting prophet from the 16th century, called Muhammad al Magili. It means that their customs vary somewhat from other Muslims. Taman Reset has always been at the heart of ancient Saharan trading routes. Camel caravans have long crossed this vast desert stretching through what is now Mali, Niger, Libya and Algeria. The captains of these camel caravans are Tuareg nomads, being at home in this desert wilderness.